I got the balls the size of grapefruits. I am Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Who the hell you think you are? You're fired. Everybody wants to kiss their boss's ass. You'll kiss my ass. You'll kiss my ass. You'll join the Kiss My Ass Club. Kiss my ass. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Used to be the CEO of the uh, WWF, now WWE. He has essentially sold the company. The company has essentially merged with UFC. And Vince McMahon has been in the spotlight a lot of times out of his career as being chairman of WWE. As of late, there's been a lot of shit coming out about him paying women to perform sexual acts, not just with him, but with John Laurinaitis. You know, Laurinaitis. We're not going to even talk about Johnny Boy there. But, but, a lot of this shit now that's been coming out that happened years ago, and I know you women ain't going to like what I'm about to say, but I think it's bullshit. The uh, latest article depicts that Vince McMahon, and, and, you know, uh, I'm not going to name the woman. I'm just going to link the articles down below. That this woman signed an NDA for a $3 million pay cut to keep her mouth shut because she was passed around in the WWE. Vince McMahon told her, if you want to keep your job, you're going to fuck me, John Laurinaitis supposedly Brock Lesnar in there and a few other superstars and you're going to keep your fucking mouth shut and you're going to sign this NDA in exchange for $3 million. Now, now listen, ladies, listen. And this dope for men too that's, that's willing to sell their soul. How can you sign something, agree to take money to keep your mouth shut at the cost of keeping your job and at the cost of keeping your dignity intact? See, when you love money that much and you're willing to demean yourself to become a millionaire, there's a fundamental problem there. And a lot of celebrity men use money to get what they want because the average woman wants to be rich. But then when you take the money and the person stop paying you for your services, essentially you become a prostitute, now you want to try to say, well, he did this to me 10, 20, 30 years ago, and I want my cut now. And listen, I understand there's a recession going on. Well, the economy sucks. Everything is high inflation. I understand that WWE now is, is this big conglomerate with UFC and all this fucking shit. But to try to come in now and get more money, look at the E. Jean Carroll motherfucker with Donald Trump. Donald Trump said some vulgar shit, was caught on camera saying it, and she got awarded millions a few months ago. Now she's back for defamation and want more. And I'm not a big Donald Trump fan, but right is right, wrong is wrong. You took some money years ago in the 90s, and Donald Trump fucked you. And now, because of Me Too, and I'm just going to keep putting this out there because of the Me Too movement, women all of a sudden think that I'm going to go back 20 or 30 years ago to get more money out this bitch to expose him. But you sold your soul for that dick 20 or 30 years ago. When that motherfucker was paying you. Same with Bill Cosby. If Bill Cosby was putting shit in the pudding, fucking giving y'all bad jello shots, goddamn pudding in the jello. <laughs> if he was fucking goddamn doing that shit and you was taking it and then waking up and he had left some money on the dresser and you knew he, what he did to your ass and you didn't say nothing but you took that money, that means you was willing to sell your soul for some dick. Period. Now, the Harvey Weinsteins of the world that was actually still doing shady shit, he deserved to get caught. The R. Kelly's of the world, because he was currently actively doing that shit, he deserved what he got. But for someone as old as Vince McMahon or as old as Bill Cosby was, okay, at the time, for women to come back and say, well, this happened 15, listen, the P. Diddy's of the world right now, the fucking, uh, Van Diesel's of the world right now. If this shit happened years ago, why are y'all trying so hard now to get this motherfucking paper? 
It don't make you women look good. When the shit first happens, and listen, I understand me and one of my Discord member Jerry had this conversation a while back. I understand the trauma because I'm, I'm a victim of PTSD from combat. So I know how it does the brain. You don't want to relive the trauma. You don't want to be re-exposed to the trauma. But sometimes being re-exposed to the trauma will help you understand the trauma better. All right? It called cognitive therapy. Okay? This is what therapy helps. If a person raped you, I'm not saying you took money for a movie scene or you because you want to keep your job, so you agreed to the sexual acts. I don't care fuck how dirty that they was. You agree. Now, when it's taken by force, and some of these people in the business will take ass by force. It has been documented. All right? Then that's not consensual sex. That is, at that point, rape. Now, you can do one or two things. You can go get help for the therapy. Don't let it linger too long. And then bring that asshole to justice. Or once that person lets you go, I don't give a fuck how that motherfucker threatened you. You go tell. You go tell. And then you strap up. So if that fucker trying to come at you, you give him some hot lead. But at least you went and told him had a rape kit put performed on you. Instead of waiting 20 or 30 years, where he did this to me 20 or 30 years ago. There comes a time where you can't blame nobody but yourself for dealing with that trauma that long. I haven't been in Iraq in over 10 years. I still have therapy. I still go. I want to get help. I can't flip out 20 years down the line because I didn't get the help and go, well, this happened because when I was in Iraq, I seen this and, and, and that brought it back and it fucked me up. No, I got help now. So I understand when my trigger points are pressed, how to better deal with them. I'm always going to have post-traumatic stress. I'm going to have days where I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to have days where, you know, I'm not going to want to be around people. I'm going to have those days, right? And... I have to be able to deal with that in a healthy way, all right? Because I have my demons. We all do. But to try to go out to Vince McMahon after something he did years ago because you want more money, he, done, he paid like $14 million out to a lot of women that came out his ass when all of a sudden when UFC and WWE merged the first time, when the, first, the deal first went down. A lot of women came out the world where well, Vince did this to me and I want this and I want this. And Linda McMahon, listen, to you women out there that stand with husbands that you know is scumbags, okay? I like the Bill Clintons, and Bill may have been probably the best president of all time, number 42, okay, in American history, okay? But Bill Clinton had a woman problem. He had what we call a Tiger Woods problem. All men love women, but there comes a time where it can just be borderline sadistic. Out at the end of the day, women, here's another thing you have to understand. Because a lot of y'all doing this too, wearing provocative shit to the gym. Then a guy looking at you because your booty crack is like two miles deep with the tight shit you got on. I can basically see how deep your crack is. And I love looking at women with some nice butts, okay? I have a wife, but I'm still a man. And I, I, we can be walking in Walmart, but motherfucker wearing some provocative shit. I'm like, God damn, she got a big and My wife, she'll do me. Don't say that out loud. You know, you don't say that. My wife has a beautiful, pretty ass. All right? Now, that comes a cutoff point. Your ass just be too big and wide, and I ain't going to look at all that. That's just too much booty. That's too much crater and stink back there. I ain't got time for that. And your tits hang down to your, to, to your kneecaps. I ain't got time for that shit neither. I, mean, I like nice, firm, perky tits. So, like, all the qualities my wife got. Love them. Okay? But I'm a man, and she's a woman. She loved Dwayne Johnson. Every time the rock come on, she gets this. This look like, oh, Dwayne, you know. And I'd be like, all right. We know we can go to Power Springs right now. I'll take you and drop you off at the motherfucking front door. You know? <laughs> that's that's just me, you know? But the point I'm trying to make here is you can't wear a certain shit and then don't expect for people not to look at you. And then when a the guy look at you, why are you eyeing me? I feel like you're disrespecting me. I feel sexually assaulted. Why are you wearing tight ass shit where I can see your camera toe in at this motherfucking gym? Why are you wearing these tight ass shirts where I can basically see your nipples? How big your areola and your nipple is, motherfucker. Why are you wearing that shit to the motherfucking gym then if you want to be looked at or you want to be seen? Because you're trying to get that money. 
And that's why a lot of guys, and I'm going to say something that's just true, is fucking with those kits now. Cross-contaminate, AIDS is just running rapid. Herpes and shit now, cross-contamination. They want those trainees now because, hey, you know what? I ain't got to worry about them talking about sexual harassment. I'll never go that route because, like I said, I'm married, but if I ever divorce, I, I love women. I'm not to just, you go get them tests. So you ain't got nothing. I go get my tests. And then, you know, hey, whatever. It is what it is. But I mean, that's, but that is the truth. Everything now you got to get on paper. Consensual, we going to do this, we going to do that shit. So then you can't come around and say, well, he did this to me 30 years ago without my consent. Well, I got every time we fuck right here logged in on paper, motherfucker. Keep every motherfucking test message too. Come by and pound my puss. You goddamn right. I'm talking about some South Park shit. You pound puss. Yeah. You goddamn right. Frat club, motherfucker. PC principal ass type shit. So that's how I feel about Vince McMahon. You, you, you listen, man. Vince McMahon don't give a fuck. Why you think Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon made the Kiss My Ass Club? He was pretty much telling people then, I do some sick shit off camera. All right? Because it's coming out now in Discovery about certain text messages shit about what he was doing to women. I think one of them said that they that, that she got defecated on the fucking head. Some shit in the New York Times. Bitch, man, woman, and pull his pants down and shit it on the woman's head. Shit it. Cold blooded motherfucker. That's a cold blooded. But he paid him. You took the money. I would have left that strand of shit in my head and went to, to, to have his shit tested. So he came back up one Vincent Kenny McMahon, and I would have sued his ass for 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 uh unconsensually sharding on my head. Cause if he blindfolded you and made you sit down, you know what he was gonna do. You thought it'd be some shit. He just pooped on your head. And you you could have sued him right there. You could have you could have hemmed Vince McMahon ass up. But apparently you rolled with it. That just like that just like. But a motherfucker stand there, take his dick out, and just piss on you. If you sit there and, oh, give me a shower. Oh. Now you're going to bring it up in Discovery and, 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 and black men will, hey, peeing on me. I ain't really enjoying that. And, well, you took that money. I mean, you put up with that shit. Y'all got to stop. Listen, women, listen. Y'all got to stop. Y'all going to make guys pretty much hate all women. Then y'all going to be talking about, well, no, no, man, I want to be me. I want to take care of kids. Me. Motherfucking two. If a man do something you don't agree with, go tell immediately. Now, if it's very traumatizing, I will still go to the police and then I will go get help. But you got to do something. Waiting 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, hell, even five years to say something. It's too damn long. If it's longer than a year, what's the point of saying something about it? Because everybody going to look at you like, well, how can we believe you? What the fuck? Well, we got all this proof. Okay, well, okay, but you took money. So what you want to do? You, you, you took his money. That means you became a whore. You prostituted yourself. And you want us to go arrest him? You took money for those services. So, anyway, that's all I got. You you being there's millionaires and shit, man. Y'all got y'all gotta be more careful. You got to be more careful, man. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your Friday. I'm out, guys. Peace.